Welcome back to Frozen City Kitchen. This is Zed. Today I'm going to be giving an update on BNGO. My previous DD included a full profile into the business. So find that in the description after this one here. Uh, so we're going to be doing technical analysis updates one month, one day, and then to a one hour perspective uh, for this stock. So first things first, we get to look into the average directional index that does show some kind of strength in the movement that has started somewhere around the 30th. Now we need to one hour period in order to confirm that kind of movement. It hasn't broken the 50 SMA yet, which is sitting at 0.47. It did kind of touch it very closely yesterday, uh, and it did touch it previously a few times, but it still hasn't broken it. The stock is sitting in the t uh, very close to the trading action zone. Uh, and it did touch the trading action zone a few times today where it kind of got reversed a little bit forward upwards. Uh, going in towards William Percent R, we get to see the stock is trading at a neutral level, which is uh, definitely, well, it's definitely not oversold, but uh, it's still at a neutral level, which is good news for us. In terms of momentum, the stock is picking up on momentum, although the momentum seems to be a little bit high, so be very cautious tomorrow, especially with the conference coming in tomorrow. Going in towards the MACD, you get to see that the stock is virtually very close in terms of either a break, uh, a breakout here or, God forbid, uh, somehow, for instance, a tank or a dip. So you get to see, for instance, here the MACD and the single line are touching. Uh, and think of those as basically explosive wires. Uh, when they're touching, you might be in danger. Or it might be your lucky day. So I wouldn't give much to it here. Uh, we're gonna look first into the five. Secondly, sorry, to the five days, one hour period. We get to see here in terms of the MACD. Uh, it actually saw a little bit of positive MACD during the day. Now volume hasn't picked off yet in the last two days, and people are almost forgetting about it. Uh, you get to see that it's actually trending more into. Uh, a stable kind of point in terms of the one hour perspective in terms of momentum it seems that it is stable on momentum not an increase in momentum ever since the 13th now going in towards William percent R, we get to see that it is sitting somewhere at a neutral level and the average directional index well, suggests sloppy movement now in terms of the, the different indicators it seems that 10 SMA and the 30 EMA are both touching the stock price is above the 200 SMA and the 50 SMA and you get to see all four are actually at the exact same place and all of these are sitting on a support at 0 0.50 so that's a good support uh, this is kind of more of a situation where you have a golden cross you have the trading action zone being so close to the stock and touching you got the MACD touching on the one day uh, so everything here is basically saying you are entering in either at a breakout zone, but you need to watch this very carefully because there's a downside risk to it. Um, that's basically what the indication is saying. Now let's try to look into trend lines here quickly to try to identify anything that we can look at. So in terms of the moving average, we get to see the stock is trading in the upper moving average and it's still within there. Now going in towards trying to identify any patterns, uh, that is kind of getting a little bit lost on us because uh, it is harder to draw patterns in this situation, especially with the movement that is moving this kind of fast. But we can try to attempt to draw one here. One might argue that that could be a pattern line, which is an upward trend, although followed previously uh, previous trend. So what am I expecting from tomorrow? Because this has the conference tomorrow. There's no news. What I'm expecting is something similar to this to happen. And it could be earlier on the day where it could some, look something like this, right? So you want to sell while you're green with modest. So don't get greedy on this. And what I'm expecting tomorrow is you're going to have a lot of people thinking that this will jump. And they will jump in, bring a little bit of volume and buy in. And then what's going to happen is around the conference, usually things die down a little. Because everyone wants to realize their gains a little bit early on. So you might end up getting caught bag holding in that way. So... My advice is to sell early on tomorrow at one of the first spikes, check level 2. Uh, and once you see volume start decreasing, pouring in, that's your indication to sell. Uh, now, is this stock a, a good long hold or has a future? You need to watch my other DD to determine that. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you drop a like, share, and subscribe. And turn your notifications on when you subscribe. And let me know what you think about this stock in the comments below. Thank you very much and have a good day.